Mac and Book Vids is brought to you by Publisher Showcase and Mac and Educational Resources. Educating the lives of millions, one book at a time. And now, Mac and Book Vids. One of the first letters I got about Sarah Plain and Tall was from a little boy named Robert, and it said, Dear Mrs. McLaughlin, Sarah Plain and Tall is the second to the greatest book I've ever read. Love, Donald. And that was it. That was it. So I had it on my refrigerator for years, and I kept thinking, what is the first greatest book? I'd like to read it. And this is what I like about children. They're so honest, and they're so heartfelt, and very often I tell them my secrets, and they tell me theirs. I felt a great deal of responsibility to her because these were her characters mm -hmm. and she'd established them. And so I didn't feel I could change them in any ways, nor did I really want to. But I really had to follow um, her vision and in some way, you know, make it into a story. And I noticed there are differences in the way we write. Um, she wrote really for the children, write to those children wanting the adventure. And she was really good at it. And I met her students, the class of 42, and they loved her. And I think she changed their lives and she became like a parent figure to many of them. As for mine, I asked Whitman, do you want me to write in her style or mine? And they said, yours, right away. And so I think my part is maybe written a little more for adults and children. I tend to do that. I just cannot not do that. But I think they meld together. The publisher approached me and asked me if I would like to consider doing it. And I like these children. They're brave and adventuresome, and they were kind to one another. That was a nice group. I thought, well, I'd like to invent these parents, because I know what kind of parents they were. Of course, the problem was I also had to get rid of the parents in order to have them be orphans on their way, right. traveling together. It struck me that these children uh, were not self-indulgent in any way. They didn't have that luxury right. to mourn. And they did mourn in their own way, but very, very uh, softly and quietly to themselves because they, they were survivors and they had to move on. If you write a book, you tell a story and hope that the child finds a path into the story to go into it and through it and out the other side. Maybe learning something, maybe experience something. But I think those quiet, soft moments of honesty somehow transcend the years and they live longer. Thank you for watching Mac and Book Fits, brought to you by Publisher Showcase and Mac and Educational Resources. Mackin, reading the future.